Sehr geehrter Herr Bundeskanzler Scholz, sehr geehrter Dear Federal Chancellor Olaf Scholz, dear Prime Minister Michael Kretschmer, dear Lord Mayor Dirk Hilbert, dear Professor Arsen Kerschbaumer, dear Chairman of the Management Board Hanebeck, dear Dirk Zwanger, Executive Vice President, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to be here. This is money we have ahead of us. It is an endorsement for Europe as a global innovation powerhouse. The world's largest chip maker is coming to our continent and joining forces with three European champions. And the benefits will be felt well beyond Dresden and Saxony. European workers will gain 11,000 new jobs, both here and across our continent. European chips companies will gain access to new technologies and production capacities. European industries will benefit from more reliable supply chains and local supply chains and new products that are tailored to their needs. And at a time of growing geopolitical tensions, TSMC will also benefit from geographic diversification to Europe, better access to our European strength, like automotive, as you said, the customers of importance for you, and to our unique single market. So this is a true win-win situation for all of us. And I want to thank everyone who has brought us here today. I thank, of course, TSMC. Bosch, Infineon, NXP, the four partners of this joint project. But I also want to thank the federal government of Germany, the government of Saxony. My sincere thanks go to all of you for making it happen and for believing in Europe's immense potential. Thank you for having this ceremony here today. Und was Dresden so besonders macht, das ist nicht nur die What makes uh, Dresden so special is not only that it's relatively close to so many companies working within the auto automotive industry, but uh, but also Europe is more, much more innovative than many people actually realize research and development in the field of semiconductors that is done here at this very region. Around the globe, this is highly recognized. We build extremely powerful computers. Um, the world's leading equipment manufacturers for microchips are coming here from Europe. So therefore, I I uh, paid a visit to the top companies uh, all over Europe, Leuven, Eindhoven, those are the cities, and of course also here in the city of Dresden. I still remember the groundbreaking ceremony in, uh, for the new Infineon plant one year ago. Behind all of these successes, we have much of effort, a lot of hard work. Silicon Saxony, therefore, offers everything uh, that makes Europe so attractive for investors and innovators. Here in this region, more than 2,500 companies of the chip industry are based. So here you have an impressive collaboration between young startups and global corporations. We can monitor just that here in this region, but also we witness uh, collaboration between companies and universities. This region does have an attractive labor force with more than uh, 75,000 employees in the chip sector. And the people of Saxony uh, have known for a long time what it takes to produce first class uh, chips, they're familiar with working in clean rooms, they're used to putting on their special work clothes, and in many cases you have uh, a deep running love for this demanding profession that was already inherited uh, by these young skilled persons from their parents, and they want to pass this passion on to the next generation. Here in Dresden, all of us can clearly see that Europe is so much more than simply an attractive market. It is a unique place for both growth and innovation. Sehr 
geerdet. Still strength that we have built our European Chips Act. It has been three years now since we set the goal to double Europe's share of global chip production up to 20 percent. And since then, we have seen new state-of-the-art chip factories break ground across Europe. If you take Kroll near Grenoble or Catania in Sicily, And now another here in Dresden. This new fab qualifies under the European Chips Act as a so-called first-of-a-kind factory facility. In other words, it will manufacture products that are not present or planned in any other facility across Europe. And this means that this facility is also entitled to national financial support so, good news, just this morning, I had the opportunity to authorize state aid from Germany to this project to the tune of 5 billion euros. <laughs> and indeed, since we launched the European Chips Act, it has already attracted commitments of public and private investments in the order of 115 billion euros. So this is a true investment revolution for Europe's chip sector. And this is just the beginning. Boosting our industrial competitiveness is a central pillar of the new five-year program of the European Commission that I put forward in July. First. I will propose a new European competitiveness fund as part of our new budget. It will invest in strategic technologies and it will contribute to our important projects of common European interest, the so-called IPCIs or IPSIs, of course including in the field of chips and advanced packaging. The next European Commission must be and will be an investment commission. Second, in the first 100 days of the new mandate, I will propose a new clean industrial deal. One of its central goals will be to ensure access to cheap, clean energy, wonderful to hear that you're completely renewable, and raw materials. And the third element is that we will establish a union of skills. We want European workers to have the training they need for the quality jobs that you are creating, for example, here. So we must remove all the obstacles that are still slowing us down, and we must invest more in what makes Europe so attractive for companies just like you, for example, we all know that the global race for the technologies of tomorrow is on, and I want Europe really to switch gear. Meine Damen und Herren, heute Ladies and gentlemen, today is a day of pleasure for the business location Dresden, a day of pleasure for all of Saxony, because here in the federal state of Saxony we have a long-standing tradition for decades or maybe even centuries that is combined with the skill set of people together with entrepreneurship and with a uh, long-sightedness for economic feasibility. So all of this is actually very exciting about the future because we need to look for an entire new perspective for this region. So therefore I am really grateful and also a little bit proud about the fact that Europe is going to and 
was able to contribute its share, but at the same time, today's day is yet another motivation for us to not only excel at this and pioneer this, but to uh, remain on the first place. And so these new ideas must come from Europe, and therefore I would like to thank all of you for this very important milestone. And as we've witnessed in the video, this is not the end of a journey that we've done, but it is actually the start of a new journey that we are embarking on together. So therefore, I wish all of us all the best for this exciting new project. Thank you very much.